okay. <laughs> uh, okay, first off, I'm using a different mic, so I'm still trying to get used to this, but otherwise... Hi everyone, and welcome to Sonic Lost World. This is going to be an interesting one, <laughs> so let's just get started here. God, the fact that I have to <laughs> use the freaking Wii U gamepad for this, I haven't used this controller in years. It feels so weird. Yeah, we're not really gonna learn much about this place. Oh god. Yeah, the, the, I don't know. I don't have much to say about this opening cutscene. It's uh, it's fine. <laughs> I have issues. I do have issues with this game's story, but uh, no, the yeah, I, I do. I do like how it starts as like a um, a chase with um with tornado and all that. Like I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to get used to how. Okay, I haven't played this game in years, so I I'm gonna have to get used to how this controls, because uh, this is like completely alien to me. Um, okay, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> this feels like I'm playing the game for the first time. No, I I did play this game a lot when it when it came out, but yeah, it's been a long time at this point. Um, yeah, the. This game works quite a bit differently from the others. Like for starters, like the homing attack like charges now, and you can basically just hit a bunch of enemies in like a couple seconds. It's um pretty much like uh, like the light speed attack in a, in a sense. So that's kind of interesting. I'm a little bit indifferent to that change, like. I think it works fine, but I do generally prefer how it usually works in the other games. But, it, you know, it, it's not a deal breaker for me. Um, the, the, there is another change where, like, if you wait, like, a few seconds before hitting some enemies, um, you'll do a, a charged home like, homing attack instead. Um, you'll do a charge home attack instead, which uh, can kill enemies quicker and uh, some bosses, it makes a, pretty much all the bosses an absolute joke, so you know, you'll be seeing a, a lot of that as we go through her, but yeah, <laughs> this is quite a bit different compared to what we're used to because we had unleashed through generations which all had the boost formula and they are all fairly similar in how they work. So, like, they all had their own, like, gimmick characters, like, or well, not, well, maybe not necessarily gimmick characters, but, like, um, there was, like, stuff beyond just a regular boost gameplay. Like, you had the Werehog, you had Classic Sonic, and you had, uh, the Wisps and the, uh, smaller gimmick stages in colours. And, then, <laughs> and then this game comes along and just kind of, yeah, throws that all under the bus and just... It's like, yeah, let's just start from scratch again because we, we don't need consistency, we just need to uh, experiment again because <laughs> that, that's exactly what we want, apparently. Um, and a lot of people are kind of not the biggest fan of Lost World, to put it lightly, um, and I can definitely understand why. I have my issues with it as we'll, okay, as we'll talk about uh, going through this playthrough, of, of course, but. No, I really do like this game. I don't know how much because I haven't played this game in years, like I said. So we'll, we'll see how, how I feel by the end of this. But I do remember really enjoying this game. And like, I feel like it's the most 
you have the most control over Sonic than that than you have in uh, years. Honestly, honestly, probably since like oh six, <laughs> which is kind of sad. <laughs> It's like, that's not me. That's not me say, uh, saying that I like how 06 controls, but I think that's the. I think that's the last time you had like proper 360 degree control with Sonic, because the Storybook games obviously didn't have that, and then the Boost games, outside of like, I mean, I guess there's the Werehog, but, but besides the Werehog, um, you can't you can't exactly explore a. F a 3D environment uh, with the boost. Like, it, it just doesn't work. So yeah, this is like the first time in a while where um, I feel like I have a lot more control over Sonic's movement. And that's something I do really like about this game. Because that's something that I really do miss from like the adventure games or whatnot. So, it, uh, like, I'm not saying it's on that same level, but it's... I, I like the sense of control I have in this game. An army. It needs to be a big army if I'm taking over the world below. You are quite a mighty conqueror. Yes, yes I am. I conquered you to die. Yeah, this is the start where I actually, like, actually have really big problems with the writing in these games. Because Colors, while I mentioned how I wasn't the biggest fan of it, uh, like story-wise I mean, I didn't have much of a problem towards it in the grand scheme of things because uh, it was the first time they were doing something more light-hearted in a hot minute and while I think it while I didn't think it was like the best um, way to handle it I think it was fine enough um, and then generations barely barely even had a plot to begin with so I don't really care too much about that um, but then Lost World is like it's really, it's trying really hard to have start having a proper, uh, like, in-depth story and whatnot. With like, you have Lost Hex, which, which is a new area for the series that we've never been to before. And you have these new villains called the Deadly Six, which I don't mind the designs, but like, I, my opinion on these guys have like changed drastically over the years. I, when I first played this game, I didn't mind them whatsoever and I thought they were a fun stereotype kind of character, but eh, I'm not the biggest fan of them anymore. Like, I don't hate them necessarily, but when you have characters like Metal Sonic, Shadow, um, Solaris, Mephilus, uh, Dark Gaia, um, Chaos, etc, etc, like all these cool different villains, that um, either have um, fun personalities, or they're just really intimidating, or they're just cool monsters, or the 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 backstories are like um, really interesting and like in depth and whatnot. Um, especially stuff like uh, Shadow. But then you have these guys, which have the ability to um, you know have the that they could have given these guys like really cool backstories and like stuff about like wh where they came from and like who they are and all that kind of thing. But they they're kind of just villains because they're villains. They don't really have any ulterior motives besides destroy the world because screw you. Um, and I mean, it's it's just kind of nothing. <laughs> like these. These guys are like, again, I don't mind the designs. They're a bit, they, they do feel a little bit too uh, Mario, and we'll get to that. <laughs> we'll get to that in a minute, but yeah, they definitely give off a very Mario vibe, but it's like, I don't know, man. They're just kind of there, <laughs> and they keep on bringing back Zavok specifically for some reason, I I have no idea why. Like he's not <laughs> like he's not that interesting of a character, and he just kind of goes out with a whimper. If I'll be honest. Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess one other thing to mention as well is that the uh, spin dash works quite a bit differently here. Um, okay, so need to do this. Eh. Alright. Yeah, the spin dash, the way this, I guess let's just talk about the controls in general because like I said, it works quite a bit different from like what we're used to. Um, the uh, you have a run button in this game, which is kind of kind of crazy. Um, kind of speaks for itself. I'm not in love with the idea of a run run button, but I think it works fine for the kind of game this is. Um, but yeah, I, I'm definitely I definitely don't think it was it was super necessary. You know, it is what it is. Do that. And then you have the spin dash, which is the, with the right trigger. Screw you, freaking laser wisps. Um, which, yeah, it, th this works quite a bit differently because you can basically keep a spin dash going indefinitely so that's pretty fun it it doesn't ha quite have the same like physics and all that from like the adventure games but I, I think it's still fun to mess around with in its own right and you can like get launched off of like platforms really far uh, with it so Th there is still some kind of a mo momentum involved with it it's just not ex it doesn't exactly work um, how you expect it from the other games so there might be a bit of a uh, adjustment period, but it's not too bad. And, yeah, ev everything else, like, well, I mean, I say everything else. The, uh, red rings are still here and, uh, and accounted for, and they're basically your, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't, st I still don't fully understand how the home attack works in this game. <laughs> but yeah, you still have your red rings, you still have, um, all that good stuff. It, it doesn't. This game doesn't really have a proper ranking system, though. It's a uh, quite a bit different in that sense. The um, only ranking stuff that you'll see in this is through the uh, time trials, um, which by itself is already pretty different because yeah, this <laughs> this game basically has a time attack version for every stage. Think, I guess, think of it like doing the time trials in like a crash game. Um, you just pick a level and just select the time attack, which is, I guess, fairly similar. Um, and then, and then you have a time limit, uh, and which, like, the better you do, the your better, the better your, uh, your rank will be. And it, it's, it's essentially the uh, ranking system from Unleashed Wii. If I had to compare it to another Sonic game. <laughs> for you Baldy McNose hair for your friends <sighs> friends these are nobody's friends they are the deadly six and they are your worst enemies Zaz show this blue pest how you do things up here <sighs> with pleasure I've been itching for a fight all day <laughs> I think you're itching because you need a bath <laughs> You disrespecting me? Maybe. I'm gonna mess you up! I'd love to stay and watch him disassemble you, but I have business to attend to. I like how they go out of their way to, like, um, put them in silhouettes, even though they, uh... <laughs> went out of their way to show show the uh, Deadly Six as much as possible in the um, marketing. So it's just like, why would they even bother at that point? But yeah, the... Okay, one, one issue I do have with this game is that how... is how much it uses, like, the uh, Green Hill kind of aesthetic. I... I don't know, it's like... I think it looks different enough 
from like Green Hill itself, but the problem more so is the fact that like it uses the it, it uses this aesthetic but just uses like a different color palette for it constantly. And yeah, I, I just kinda wish that it was the game could look a little, little bit more diverse in some areas. And we'll get to that later on in the game. But yeah. And it was like I was mentioning in the. Uh, actually, I think I mentioned it. <laughs> this is how you how you know I have ba a bad memory. I don't remember anything I said in these playthroughs. But yeah, uh, the um, thing. I can't talk. Uh, yeah, I, I'm okay. I mentioned how in in generations. I was fine with like Green Hill and like all those old stages coming back because anniversary title. Um, but then after that point, they kind of went a bit overboard with things. Like we have Windy Hill Zone, which I guess is it's not technically Green Hill, but it's kind of is. And then you have Mania and Forces, which bring back like just flat out Green Hill Zone. And then it's just man. <laughs> I, I'm just so tired of this place, dude. But, whatever. I do like that they do some weird gravity mechanics here. Or not, maybe, maybe not necessarily... It's not necessarily gravity mechanics. It's more like just tricking the game to uh, make you think it's doing gravity. But, no, I, I do like stuff like this. I do think this game legitimately has some really good level design. Um, so, it's like... Yeah. And it, yeah, this game works a little bit differently in terms of just general structure and okay, uh, how you get through levels, I guess. I, before I do that, yeah, just do this. Because um, the... You can't exactly always just go from point A to B. Sometimes you are going to have to... So, sometimes you are going to have to get like enough animals to move on to the next stage. Which is not great, I gotta be honest. Yeah, this. Yeah. Um, like, it's not a deal breaker for me. I don't mind it too much, especially since uh, you can go through the circus tents and get like a bunch of um, animals. But yeah, it, but I've. But in general, though, it just kind of feels like a unneeded. Um, way to like lengthen the game. Yes. I will say this: I do like that they make the Deadly Six talk through the levels. I think that's kind of cool, even if they are kind of whatever. But it, you know. But you, one thing. Okay. <laughs> uh, one thing I did mention during the uh, Colors playthrough specifically is that I really liked how. The ranking system in these games encourages you to explore the levels and get better, better at them. And this game doesn't exactly have that, but I enjoy the levels in this game in a different way. Because I thought this game is a lot more okay. This game is a lot more platform heavy than like the but uh, than the boost games. That so I enjoy it more for that sense. And you still have the Red Wing. There. You still have the red rings, which it, which encourages like exploration in that sense. And uh, yeah, I, I do like that. And the, the I would probably say that this is one of the harder Sonic games. So it does also have a challenge. Like it's not like SA One where I can just kind of blaze through. Excuse me. It's not like SA One where I can blaze through without thinking. <laughs> TV out of paper. Yeah. And reprogrammed a supercomputer using dishwashing detergent and a toothpick. I know. So look, fixing a propeller on a bike I will say this. I, about as difficult as I would out. prefer an actual ranking system for the main stages. Like, that definitely would make this game a lot better. But, um, I think it's fine enough for what, how this game is designed. Like, just not having it, I mean. Because it's like... You have the red rings which require you to like go around the stages and a lot of the red rings in this game tend to be pretty difficult to get. Um, not a lot. Well, maybe not all of them, but like 
they will <laughs> add a lot of difficulty to the game. So I do like that. These animals are quite underwhelming. I'm disappointed in you, incompetent fools. I We don't care about your I guess the best way to describe it is like it's it's like the uh, feeling of completing um, a lot of the, like a Mario game, or maybe like, more specifically like the new, like the new Super Mario Bros. Bear! More like the new Super Mario Bros. games where you had the, like the star coins and all that that you can find throughout the levels. Um, and, and considering that this game is more built like a, it, it, it's more platformy focused than previous Sonic games in quite a while, so yeah, I I can enjoy it in that sense. And yeah, this is, this game is like very blatantly like Mario inspired in a lot of ways. Like you have your new Super Mario, Super Mario Bros. themes like your grass, desert, uh, ice, forest and etc, etc. And the, uh, I think Azuka is flat out stated that like the Lost World was deliberately designed to be, like, made a Sonic game for Mario fans, which I really don't think they needed to do that. I like, I do, let me, let me uh, say this first. I do still really like this game. Uh, we'll, again, we'll see how much by the end of this, but um, regardless though, I really don't think catering to Mario fans was exactly the correct course of action, because Sonic is not supposed to be a Mario game. He's supposed to be completely different in terms of design, uh, game mechanics, and just general game mentality, I guess. Um, and all that kind of stuff. Like, he, he, I don't think they really should make a game, uh, like a Sonic game, for a Mario fan. That just doesn't work. Um, but for what it's worth, I... Oh my god. I... Yeah, I... I I think they still made it Sonic enough for this game, but it definitely it definitely feels Mario inspired in a lot of ways. Which, yeah, it, it's I don't. That's not exactly my ideal version of Sonic. And I feel like the uh, okay, that is a one-hit kill, by the way. Is you is you actually do do get eaten by that? Yeah, so. Drop off. Yeah. Yeah, this time. I can have to get like good timing on these enemies as well. Yeah. Uh, I'm a bit in. I'm indifferent towards the the wisps, wisps in this game. Uh, the in a lot of areas, like it works like colors, where like you don't have to use them, but it's like for a different path. And then, but then there are some instances where like they are forced on you, and I know this. I'm kind of just yeah. I'm kind of kind of just indifferent to them in this game. And this is where I feel like they started to just overuse them. Because, like, Generations, sure, there's the color stage, so make, bringing them back for the uh, Generations level, like pl like Planet West, makes sense. Can I do that? There are some cool tricks you can do in this game. Oh, I can't. <laughs> oh! Okay, whatever. whatever. And yeah, you have the parkour system as well, which I think is a pretty cool um, mechanic. It it doesn't really. Okay, well this is. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't really teach you it very well, but this is like a problem with the game in general. Like, it really doesn't teach you anything. Like sometimes the game will have like a question mark thing on the top of your screen, which is basically the game saying. Look at your gamepad, you're gonna have a hint. But 
it's such an unintuitive way to do do that instead of just you know having a just a regular hint ring on the stage itself like the other games. But regardless, though, I do really like how the uh, Jesus. I I do really like how the uh, parkour system works. It's not always. Uh, what you call it? I, I definitely wouldn't say this is the this is the best way they could have handled it, but no, I, I think it I think it's pretty fun to mess around with. Yeah. Like so. Yeah. And I will yeah, I will reiterate. This is what I I do genuinely genuinely think that this is one of the hardest Sonic games. So, again, the the fact that this game doesn't have a proper ranking system doesn't bother me too much because I get the, I get an, a decent amount of challenge just from playing through the game itself. Um, so, I can get my satisfa satisfaction from just being it. And again, while I would prefer a ranking system to be here, I it's not a deal breaker for me, so Cause like what made the what made the ranking system so great in like a lot of the other games is that it turns a the a game that was mostly fairly easy into something that's way more challenging and demanding. So that just you know gave those games a lot more replayability. But like I said, this is one of the hardest Sonic games, so it doesn't it doesn't really need something like that to make it harder. It just it just kind of already is hard. So it's like while it would be nice, it's not necessary in this case, I think. But you know, it, it is what it is. And again, in terms of like exploration, you're already gonna do that if you wanna get all the red rings. So there's you got that covered as well, and then if you do wanna do like time attack stuff. You have the ranking system that this game has where you need to do time trials to get like the S ranks. So yeah, I, I de again I definitely, it's definitely not ideal, but I think that this game not having a proper ranking system is fine enough for what this game is. So it's like, yeah, but yeah that, that's just one of the, that's just some like a big thing I wanted to bring up uh, near the start of this because it was a big uh, point I I uh, mentioned during the colors playthrough about how about like like that being one of the reasons why I like I, I enjoy these games so much and it makes sense for me to just go over that now because I enjoy this game a lot but you know it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't exactly work the same way so it was a I think it was important for me to explain myself in that sense what um, while we're near the beginning. But yeah. Now, if you hurry and destroy Sonic, I've got an even bigger set. Oh god. So one thing about this game that is very hit and miss with people is that there's a lot of like gimmick stages and um, they can be, the quality can, can vary a lot. Um, I do really like this, this is basically, this is basically if the tree level from Galaxy 2 and the back, back speed sections from 06 had a baby. Um, this is a very fun level. It's a uh, just kind of a straight shot down a massive tree with these like okay uh, like beehive stuff like honeycombs and whatnot. Just... And then these these levels as well like um, it basically just makes you home and attack like a string of enemies a lot. 
so you can get a bunch of animals in this. I think one thing to note as well with the uh, uh, home and attack is that if you like the more enemies you hit in one in one go, the more enemy, the more animals you get. And I don't I don't mean that, that as a, like a no duh. Like of course you'll get more animals, but I mean in the sense of, like you'll they'll get multiplied. So like if you well okay I don't think about I don't think that's the case with these guys, but most of the time it. What, how it works is that if you okay, so that if you kill like four enemies in one home attack, um, the second time you'll get two enemy, two animals out of one enemy, and then the third one you get like three, and then the fourth one you get four. So it just kind of duplicates like that. So that's a a good a, that's a good thing to keep in mind when it comes to trying to get a bunch of uh, a bunch of animals. And yes, it's worth knowing that if you run into the wall, you just immediately die. Wow, you're barely a snap. I will say this: the uh, Deadly Six uh, do have a really good theme. I, I do really like the uh, the light boss theme. Yeah, okay, this is. <laughs> it's not much to really say about this. We're flying on a giant head. Oh, you're the worst meal ever. Do you enjoy the skydiving though? Oh, oh okay. Oh yeah, you gotta love how, <laughs> gotta love how Orbit and Cuba are back after being, like, kinda just abandoned in gen, in gen. Wait a stop, boss! I felt great! The machine is unstable. We just want to borrow some of the planet's energy. We don't want to destroy it. Speak for yourself. And one other thing that this game does is that um, it doesn't always stay to the um, <laughs> good. it doesn't always stay to the like actual like world trope, which is something that I do like a lot because like it like it has your new Mario like uh, trope like level trope stereotypes, but it does also have like a lot more. It, it does like have have its own flair with stuff like this. So it's like, you don't always know what you're going to get with these levels, which I do think is pretty fun. I don't think this level is quite as good as like Sweet Mountain, but I think it's a, it's a nice little 2D, uh, 2D level with a lot of uh, fun platforming and whatnot. And there's some tricky alternate paths here as well, which I do enjoy. And really cramped spaces with these motorbugs. <laughs> Wanna not do that? I think if I yeah. Can move this Oreo. I think that's an Oreo. Um <laughs> Super path. 
And th this game really loves these cannons, by the way. I'm... Like, I, this series that has never really, like, to my knowledge, it's never really made cannons like a massive thing. It's like, they appeared in some levels in some games, like they were in Oil Ocean, for instance. The, they were never, like, this, like, apparent, like, they, they were never used this much in a single game. <laughs> So that's pretty funny. Anyway, I, I haven't mentioned I haven't mentioned this yet, but yeah, we also have the bounce attack back from uh, from SA2 and 06. That's also pretty cool. And the it works quite a bit differently in those than those games because the um, I th in SA2 it was momentum based, whereas in this game it's um, how it works is like it's always the two. It's always, they're always going to be the same height, and they slightly get, you know, see, like, you can only do it three times in a row, and the, it's, lo like, gets, goes, goes higher and higher. But yeah, it's not, it's not momentum based or anything. It's entirely based on how many times you hit the button. This, this is, okay, this is actually pretty tricky, so I need to, like, go on, okay. Okay, and then, this, ugh, alright, cool, there we go. See, I just, some fun little levels that just throw you, throw you off guard and put you in a different, like, setting that is, <laughs> that basically has nothing to do with the current theme you're, <laughs> you're in. And the, the, um, the Lost Hex is, men is supposed to be weird, so that kind of stuff makes sense, I think. I, the, they don't really establish what what the let what the lost hex even is. So it's like it's just kind of a weird mesh. <laughs> like it's just a bunch of weird stuff in the sky somewhere. And yeah, I, I'll talk more about it later. But like this game has cool ideas with in terms of like uh, it's the world and the idea of like the Zeti and all that, but it doesn't really explain any of it. It just kind of has them as, it kind of just has them on at like, at face value and then that's it. It doesn't really go beyond that, which is, which is unfortunate. Okay, well, one thing I will say that I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of is that for some reason in the 2D, 2D sections, they slow Sonic's like, Gen like top speed drastically. I don't know why, because like I feel like I f I don't feel like there's any real reason to slow him down in these sections. Like he's a lot faster in during the 3D bits, and I don't know why that can't just be like this his normal speed in general. Like, I don't really see a reason why you'd want to like force his speed down for the 2D sp section specifically, but you know. Yeah, this is an instance of actually being forced to use the wisps. It mainly happens with the drill wisp, from what I remember. It's like, yeah, the. I don't remember the drill wisp ever being required in colors. So I guess it's just like, oh, let's make more elaborate courses with with this thing, which I guess is fine, but like. Oh man, I just Oh no dude. Again, one of the one of the reasons why the wisps worked so well in colours was the fact that like they were optional and they were encur they, they did encourage you to explore the levels more if you wanted to, but yeah. It it's not so fun when it's just forced down your throat. But yeah, again, I do rem remember it being mainly the drill, uh, mainly the drill wisp. So it could be worse. 
Oh, jeez. <laughs> I will say this, I'm definitely not going to be finishing this game in one in one sitting up, <laughs> like I do with Colors in uh, Generations, because this game is a... Uh, I don't know if it's like super long, but like it's definitely longer than those games, so we'll be here for a bit longer than that, <laughs> but yeah. I think this game has like, what, like seven? worlds or eight ca counting the special world <laughs> I guess this is this is like a Mario game in that sense as well it, it, <laughs> because it has a special world which to my knowledge Sonic games don't usually do that I went right into that I'm just really good. Uh, <laughs> yeah uh, to be honest I f I thought he was going on to his next phase <laughs> That was kind of embarrassing. <laughs> look at him, look at him go. Okay! I thought, I, <laughs> I thought that was gonna kill me for a second. Yeah, the uh. I like the imp I, I do like the implication that the giant tornado like came from him. But yeah. We gotta go. It's dinner time. I hone your abilities. I equip you with the most powerful mechs I can create. I even give you a giant sandwich, and you still disappoint me. I'm a compassionate man. That shell looks like trouble. Hold on a second. Sonic! Uh, I think that thing in Eggman's hand is... Eggman's shell is gone. <laughs> a mistake. Whatever. When is it a mistake to take your toys away? When it's the only thing keeping six angry Zeddy from controlling my mechs, you moronic hedgehog. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I have nothing. I, I don't really have much to add to this. This is a. This. It's like the start for like a good concept for a story. But it's gonna fall apart very quickly. <laughs> 